What's going on, my people? I'm your host, Double R, and you're tuned in to Retro Rob Television. Now, I want to introduce you guys to my brand new series called You're Being Taken to Trial. And the first person that I'm taking to trial, yep, you guessed it, none other than Audie Boom, the battle rapper who got exposed by his opponent, Big K, at the Red Breed Entertainment event for ratting out his crew to reduce his sentence. Now, I'm going to play this audio with this 15 Minutes of Fame interview, and we're going to break down this whole situation as we go. So, Audie Boom, you're being taken to trial, brother. Let's go. Yeah, and um, that one, just a, a lot of things were unanswered and shit like that, man. And I was coming off nonchalant like I didn't give a fuck. I, yeah. I understand. Oh. Yeah, and... um. Was you coming off nonchalant like you ain't give a fuck, or was you coming off nonchalant because you got caught? Something to think about, people. And it was very short, man, and I just wanted to make sure we did the, the interview again and so we can actually touch on. And another thing I want to say, too. If you felt like you didn't do anything, why feel the need to break your silence? Why feel the need to speak on it, period? If I know I ain't do nothing, there's no need for me to talk about it. You can believe what you want to believe. Something to think about, people. Let's continue. As much as we can, okay. you know, to, um, to clear up some shit. Now, just, just for the record, you know, you, um, you, you got locked up. You got out. You did a battle with uh, Big K. Hold on, hold on. Because this is important, people. You got locked up. You got out. That was mighty quick. How's the day? You got locked up and you got out that quick. But everybody else had to stay for a little while longer. Or stay permanently. Something to think about. Let's go. Right. And um, Big K, whole first round was about you snitching. Right. And Which means Big K did extensive research because that's the modern day battle rapper job. Well, some of them. A lot of people don't do personals and stuff like that. Um, some people do strictly punching. Some people just do whatever that they do well, strictly. Um, but today's, most of today's bat, uh, modern day battle rappers, they do extensive research. So what you're saying is all of the research Big K did was fraudulent and he wasted his time, taking out his time to do research on you. Okay, let's go. Brought out the paperwork. Crowd went crazy, shows all the paperwork. That's very important because Big K whipped out some information on Adi Boom that confirmed he indeed snitched to reduce his sentence, which means the crowd was able to view the paperwork to see whether or not Big K was actually telling the truth or he was full of shit. This is very important because Adi Boom is going to suggest something else. All right, let's go. Boom, boom, on and on. And um, then um, after that, like the whole community just yeah, crazy. Crazy. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you this right now. Um, it's impossible in Jersey. It's impossible. If you're not in my case, it's impossible for you to get my paperwork. How is that? How is that so, Adi Boom? How is it impossible? You have people that are locked up behind bars that know information on you before people that are actually in the street. How is it that people that are supposed to be confined know information about you before people that are actually out here that you would think would have quicker access to that information? So that right there is a bunch of BS. And Big K had the information and he passed it around to the crowd. This is why I said this was an important piece when Big K passed out his information to the crowd. So what you're basically saying is Big K wastes his time getting the information and the crowd don't know what they're looking at. They don't know and understand what they're actually reading. Something to think about, people. Let's go. I'll tell you right now. Whatever put on the internet, that's for, for what the internet is and that's a summarized join to smack. You know what I'm saying? Uh, get everything out, blah, blah, blah. That's another nigga appeal. It's impossible for that man to get my discovery because he's not in my so what you saying is smacking the URL look how stupid this sound people smacking the URL 
made up a summary to put out to conspire and put out information on you, false information on you. So that basically giving Big K a alley hoop to go ahead and use on you in the battle. Which goes back to you actually saying that this is falsified information. That Big K is fraudulent. That the crowd doesn't, they're illiterate. That they don't understand what they're reading. Let's move forward, people. See what else he got to say. Case, you feel me? Well, if it's, if it's, it's his lawyer that, you know, uh, did the appeal, right? So can his lawyer get your paperwork? Nah, hell no. He's not in my case. You know what I'm saying? He, my discovery, it's a, it's a, my discovery like that big, you heard? It's a, he came with two pages printed out off the internet talking about, um, I don't remember what the fuck he was talking about, but basically. You remember what he was talking about. Because if you didn't remember what he was talking about, then you wouldn't be here talking right now. You want to clear this up because deep down inside, you know you did that. You know you ratted on your team to reduce your time. You know you did. Let's continue. Like, so he came with two pages like, uh, you stay da, 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 and you with the Jamaican accent. I did say the Jamaican accent. Right. That was me, you feel me? But... Why, why does that really even matter? How many pages he came up with? What matters to me is what was actually on those pages. Doesn't matter how many pages. He could have came with a whole big ass spring packet. What matters to me is what was on those pages. What I seen on those pages. And apparently the people that seen those pages. Seen what Big K was actually saying went down. You feel me? Let's go, people. You know what I'm saying? Like, my discovery packet, it's a whole... I don't know how them niggas do it up there or, or down there or whatever. Uh, I heard New York niggas talking about it. Virginia niggas talking about it. I see what he's doing. Very slick, but not slick enough. He's trying to make... He's trying to act like this is a whole... Uh, people are conspiring against him. That people are, are out here trying to make up some bogus paperwork on him. He's trying to act like people don't understand what they're looking at. People don't understand what's really going on. Like it's some magical, mystical thing that's going on behind the scenes that people are misinformed about. Very slick, very clever, but not clever enough. Let's go. I don't know how them niggas do it. You feel me? I don't know how New York is. But in Jersey, you ain't getting nobody... That's 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 uh, usually people's go to move when they trying to cover their ass. Their go to move is I don't know how they do it over there, but we do it over here a little bit different. With regards to the paperwork. It's all the same, brother. It's all the same It's either you did do it or you didn't do it. And the fact that you're even right here feeling like you have to explain yourself. is telling me a whole lot. And then, really, you know, you know the great saying, quit while you're ahead. It was ways that he can spend, he could have spent this. One of the ways being not even doing this interview, not doing an interview, period. Because it makes you look more guilty, my brother. Let's continue. Fucking discovery packet, my nigga, it's impossible. So I guess that's why your paperwork hasn't popped up on the internet because I'm sure people were searching for it. Yeah, yeah, you want to search for it, search until the day night came to come uh, until I put it up. You feel me? Like yeah, people going to search for it because of the image that you portrayed. Of course they're going to search for it because a lot of these people are emotionally involved, financially invested, financially involved, and they want to see what they're basically putting their money into. You know, a lot of people say, well, battle rap is like wrestling. It's all really fake. A lot of these dudes ain't really living. Not everybody in battle rap ain't living the life that they, they claim to live. There's a lot of people that's actually living that life. You know? And who knows? A lot of Audie Boone fans, or most of his fans, probably thought he actually lived the life that he was portraying to live. So all they want to know is that they want to they want to know what's going on 
with regards to the investment? Am I making a good investment? Or is he bullshitting me? Is he lying to me? Let's go, people. And the only reason why I can't put it up right now because everything around my hood is closed. Right, right. You feel me? Hey. Blame it on Corona. Blame it on Corona. That's starting to become a trend now. When people don't want to step up and take accountability and man the fuck up and tell the truth, now the new thing is to blame it on Corona. Come on, Audi Boom. You smarter than that, brother. Let's go. Nothing open. I just drove past my motherfucking lawyer office coming to see you. You feel me? That shit closed down. I call my lawyer all the time. He's like, yeah, well, so I can't do nothing for you right now. The, the office is closed. Man. You know what I'm saying? So now the 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 big question is, um, a lot of people was actually saying, like, you did the five years. Why don't you have your paperwork? All I keep hearing is excuses as to why you don't have your paperwork, why you don't have anything. I'm not hearing one thing about you actually having something. That's how you know he's full of shit. Because every time he's asked a question about does he actually have something, it's always another excuse as to why. He don't have the next thing. Let's move forward. I did, uh, I was 19 years old. When this all situation all happened, I had my paperwork. I don't have my paperwork anymore. That shit long ago. I was about to say, he said I had my paperwork. I was about to say, where is it? That's what Uncle Ra is looking for. That's what the people is looking for. And that's what I'm damn sure looking for. Because you're going to try with me, brother. Shit now. You feel me? So I never thought about all right, cool. So what is the whole purpose of the interview? The video is called Audie Boom is breaking his silence. Which means you're putting to bed, you're putting to rest the notion that somehow you ratted out your team to reduce your sentence. But all I'm hearing is a bunch of excuses as to why you don't have information putting those notions to bed. So why are we even doing this interview? Let's continue. A nigga gonna lie on me, so let me go grab my paperwork and just keep it on me. I never thought that, you feel me? So, motherfuckers keep calling me, right? Uh, anyway, I never thought about that, so it was like, fuck it. You know what I mean? Until now, like when I speak to my cousins and shit, like that's still locked down. You know what I mean? He like, yo, bro, you should feel like, look, I understand you ain't know you was young, but Next time, just keep your shit. Now that when you when you get your shit, keep your shit on you. You feel me? That's why I said in the, in the um in the freestyle I did, I have my shit on me like my license and registration. Because but if you felt like you ain't do it, why are you going the great lengths to try to prove your innocence? Because apparently, the people that um received the paperwork from Big K when he was dishing it out at the event. They seen some things in there that actually confirm what Big K was saying. So the paperwork, the paperwork must have been official. Because now you going to great lengths to try to prove you didn't do any of it. What's going on is he's feeling the pressure from the fans. He's feeling the pressure because Big K is still making fun of him. Big K is not wasting any time. He's still making fun of, of Audie Boom. He's still keeping his foot on his neck. Even the fact after the battle is over, he's still doing it. Um, and I'm pretty sure that the people that you ratted on to reduce your sentence, putting the pressure on you as well. You know? Let's go, people. I never knew that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know I had to, you know what I'm saying, what niggas gonna try all this corny shit. So, fuck it. Why not let the niggas continue to try the corny shit if you didn't do it, Artie Boom? Now, this is what making making people believe that you actually did it. Because why not continue to allow the people to try the corny shit? Okay, y'all can do whatever. They're trying to call your bluff. I'm trying to call their bluff. Y'all can y'all can feel whatever how y'all want to feel. Y'all can say whatever y'all want to say. I didn't do it. And if you didn't do it. The fans' opinion wouldn't even matter anyway. 
It wouldn't even matter anyway. You should really be worrying about the opinion of the dudes that you snitched on. That might be coming after you because you snitched on them. And those dudes would know immediately whether or not you snitched. But something went down. People don't, people don't, the, the, the uh, police and the prosecutors, they don't bring you in that room unless they truly believe in their hearts and hearts that somebody is going, somebody is going to spill the beans. If they got a bunch of people in there and everybody is sticking to the script, nobody is snitching, there's no case. Somebody snitched. And the people that, that didn't snitch, apparently, are still behind bars. The one that did got out quickly. Got a reduced sentence, five years, and got out quickly. Hmm. Let's go, people. Now, when I get my paperwork, only reason I don't have it now, I mean, as a, as a one before, only reason I don't have it, have it now, motherfuckers seen a little clip that I had when I had my lawyer at the end of the video. Mm -hmm. Only re he gave me my plea agreement. I was talking to a few of my niggas. They're like, yo, listen, to clear this yeah, shit up, just get, your, that, that's yeah, right. just get yeah. your plea agreement. So when I went, I went to go get my plea agreement. When I read it, I'm like, I understand. It says I ain't say nothing, but it ain't enough. That's the only reason why I ain't put my plea agreement out there now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It don't say enough. So I'm like, all right, I got to wait. What type of shit is that? What type? It didn't say enough. My plea agreement didn't say enough. From my understanding... A plea agreement is going to even state whether or not you plead or you didn't. What the fuck is he talking about? It didn't say enough. It should only say whether or not you plead or you didn't plead. Let's continue. Now, by the time I was going back to the uh, lawyer office, everything was closed now. So it's like, it's like, damn, hey, nothing was working for me at that time. You feel me? I was doing... Nothing was working for you at that time. Well, we not in that time. We, we here right now. And what do you got for us? You said at that time. Key word, at that time. Okay, we in a different time. Where's the paperwork at now, Adi Boom? Where's the information now? Let's go. A lot, and nothing was working for me. Everything just like, I almost got it. Nope, not no more. You feel me? So, I know. I almost got it. Not no more my truth though i know i'm not no no rat nigga i know i'm not no snitch you feel me i never snitched on no man just because that nigga went to trial and got smoked that's not my fault if i were told for real for real if i were told everything i would have said would news flash Audi boom it wouldn't be no trial it's a trial it was a trial because you snitched because you ratted for real for real this this case would have been over a long time ago but I wanna, I'm, I'm, I feel a little bit entertained by this, you know. I wanna, I wanna prolong this trial. But this was really over when the time he said he didn't have the paperwork, the case was already dismissed. But because I, I, it's, it's a little entertainment to me, it's a little entertaining to me. We gonna continue a little bit more before I shut it down, before I close out the case. All right, let's continue, people. Been in his trial. I would have to go on the stand to his trial. Mm -hmm. And Jersey, look it up. If y'all niggas really want to look things up, look this up. You go to trial. You got a code D. He's telling them you have to go on the stand and see. That's the point, Audie Boom. It's not for us to look it up because Big K already brought it to our attention. It's your job to silence the doubters, to silence the critics. It's your job. To bring the paperwork to the forefront. It's not our job. Big K did his job of exposing you. Now it's your job to clear your name. I thought that's what you was doing by coming to trial. Let's continue. Tell what that, that man do. You feel me? For him to get locked up. You would I never I would, I would have to be in his uh I would have to be in his trial. Hmm. I never was in nobody's trial. Never. Now, one time I was in anybody's trial. How do we know that? You ain't got no information to prove that you wasn't. How do we know that? Every time we ask you to bring the paperwork or bring the proof, you up there talking about, well, I had it at one time and then I lost it. And then I got it back again and then I lost it. And blaming it on the Rona and all that. Where's the information? Where's the proof? 
Big K, again, Big K showed that you were actually a snitch. But you haven't shown anything debunking that. So what do you want? What, 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 what do you expect us to do, Audie Boom? What do you expect us to do? To say you didn't do it and trust you in good faith? No, that's not how this, what, this thing works. Let's continue. If a nigga was supposed to get eight and seven and they didn't take it, that's not my fault. You feel me? Now, what motherfuckers looking at all, all on the internet, I stated this hell no. It's not about what a person didn't take or how a person got burned or got smoked, as you would say it. This is the point. The point is, why is that person even in trial to begin with? Why is that person even in that predicament, that position to begin with? This is what we're here for. We're not here for what the other person uh, wasn't capable or was capable of doing. We're here asking, why did Big K pass out that paperwork? And your reason debunking Big K for exposing you. For snitching on your people to reduce your sentence. That's what we here for. Excuse me, y'all. My white phone going off. Let's go. My nigga, I said I don't know. All right, well, who did this? If you, if you ain't do it, he ain't do it. Bro, I don't know. I ain't shoot no gun. I don't know. I don't got no gun. I don't shoot no gun. I ain't shoot it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never said, oh man. He shot the hell no, my nigga. I would never do that. That's stupid. I'm still in my hood. I'm still in my hood with my niggas. You feel me? Same phone number. All you niggas that's, that's all on the block, y'all got my phone number, my nigga. Y'all could easily call my phone, nigga. Y'all trying to do shit for clout and views. Right. Nah, they ain't doing it for clout and views. They doing it because you a snitch. You a rat. And I'm saying that right now, and it's safe to say it right now, because you're not proving me otherwise. Because let you tell it, you had the paperwork. Now you ain't got the paperwork. You can't get the paperwork because this pandemic is going on. People are just not going to. My grandmother used to always say, when you don't speak up for yourself or you ain't got a, a way or not presenting a way to prove your case, then people will just assume. And that's what we're doing right now. We're just assuming. Because Big K brought the paperwork to the forefront. And as of right now, you're not able to debunk what he exposed about you. So you're a rat. You're a snitch. Now, would you... Do you it's a hard question, but... Can you blame anybody that might have seen that paperwork? And I'm talking street niggas mostly, not just regular people. First of all, Rod, that's not a... A hard question. That's actually a great question. And it's just a matter of just asking it. All right. But can you blame any dudes like from the street that see that paperwork when he passed out the paperwork? And, you know, can you blame any of them for saying, hey, you know, this is the paperwork. This is what we found offline. I'm saying a lot of things is public information. You feel me? Now, it's just what you read and probably not the way it went. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can sit here and tell you a story. So what you're basically saying is public information, in this case, in this instance, really isn't public information. Somehow they conspired against you to put out some false information on you that didn't happen, and people are just taking it and running with it. Okay. Okay. Let's go. I got you. All day. You wasn't there. You would just have opinion when you leave. You feel me? Right. I could even say, yo, I fucked that bitch cuz. Like, man, I smashed that. Somebody can have an opinion when they leave. How? Why does somebody need an opinion when there's facts right in their face? The facts is putting right in your face. Why the fuck would I need an opinion? And I always tell you people, opinion isn't an opinion if it's facts. So why would I need to have an opinion when the facts that you ratted out your team to reduce your sentence is right in my face? What you should be doing right now, again, is trying to 
debunk that notion. And the way that you debunk that notion is to present your own facts countering the facts that were exposed about you initially by Big K. As of right now, you haven't done that. So you're a rat. You're a snitch. Let's continue. That shit was wild. That shit was wild. That nigga ain't hit that bitch. Like, I mean, like, it just, whatever, whatever happened in that room. Okay, let's use on your analogy. I lie say I ain't hit a bitch, that I hit a bitch that I ain't really hit. How is it not fact if you was right there standing right there when I did it? How is that not fact? Because that's exactly what's going on in this case. The paperwork is presented right to our face. The facts is presented to our faces. So how could it be an opinion or a lie that I smashed the bitch that I didn't smash when you were standing right there when I did it? Matter of fact, you said, Rob, after you done, I'm jumping on it. Let's continue, people. Why why should I believe half of what I see when what I'm looking at right now is the actual proof of you doing what somebody said that you did? Why should I believe half of what I see when what I'm seeing is actually valid? It's actually true. And you you add that with the fact that you're not bringing out anything to counter that or debunk it. Come on, man, what you're talking, you're talking in circles. You're making up your own narrative. You're making up your own version of what happened. And it's not making any sense, Audie Bone. Now, I'm going to give you one more chance to prove your case. If not, you're being accused of ratting on your team to reduce your sentence, brother. Real paperwork. You wasn't there. I'm saying you wasn't there. You don't know what happened. I'm saying so... It's, it's, it's tricky. It's funny. We wasn't there. We don't know what happened. We don't have to be there to know what happened because the paperwork is right in front of our faces. I'm going to give you one last chance. Let's continue. Because, uh, listen, at the end of the day, what I did was like, bitch, I ain't do nothing. I, ain't, I was in that room. Yo, I ain't do that, bro. I ain't do that. All right, well, who was the last to monitor it? I don't know. It wasn't me, bro. I don't know. I'm saying like, so if, if I heard a nigga say, so you know, and I know it's not that easy, Audi Bone. You know, and I know that it's not that easy. First of all, they hold the prosecutor. The whole job is to get you in that room and to scare you into snitching. Throw a monkey wrench. Your whole initial mindset was when I get in here, I'm going to say I ain't do nothing. But once they start talking about such and such a snitched on you, he's saying that you did it. The other person is saying that he did it. The other person is saying you did it. Once they start throwing those, those uh, roadblocks in there to try to trick you into snitching, or they put you in a position where to make you feel like, okay, if I don't say something right now, then they're going to be the ones that get out, and I'm going to be the one sitting in jail. Come on, Audi Boom, you know it's not that easy, brother. Why are you sitting right here playing tricks? Let's continue. But all the judges and the cops don't lie. When the fuck? I, I don't know. I don't know who these people I don't know, man. Like, cops. The judges and the cops don't lie. What did they got anything to do with the paperwork that we seen? So, what you basically saying is the people that wrote up the paperwork on you made it up. They're conspiring against you. So they didn't get you and the rest of those other dudes you was with and get different versions of what happened or get different versions of information versions of information out of you all separately and somebody didn't snitch. Okay, if somebody didn't snitch like I said at the beginning why are y'all even in a position? Why are y'all even in this position? where people are locked up and you only did five years. That's what we really want to know. And if you can't come up 
with a solid answer on that, then this case is over. You are officially a rat. You are officially a snitch. Body boom. Let's go. Saying judges don't lie. That's what's up. I don't know where y'all 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 hood. I need to go to y'all hood. Cause yeah, man, shit, shit, real out here. Now, uh, a lot of people were saying, you know, that was a very, um, a very dangerous thing. So what you're basically saying is, is, oh, the judges, oh, the lawyers, the prosecutors, they're not dirty people. No. We're actually saying that they're dirty people. We're saying that to the point that they tricked you into snitching on your own team. Which I'm finding it hard to believe you did not do. You know? Let's continue, people. Um, that he, to, to, to say somebody yeah. snitched on somebody is a very dangerous yeah, thing yeah. for the person that said it. And for the person that's being accused of it, so Facts. you know if they say it and it's and it's fake, that's dangerous. If, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Did well, it, at the end dangerous. of the day, that right there, I don't want to touch on that, you know, because you, you know. That's what we all want you to touch on. What you mean? Because as of right now, you ain't touched on nothing. You've been spinning us in circles. Shit, I tell you one thing: Big K ain't had no problem touching on it, and he ain't had no problem with the risk. Of putting it out there. So what we're waiting for you to do right now, and what and what you're failing to do right now, is to bunk to debunk those statements or the exposure by Big K. Let's go. The future, I don't want to say something and then something happens to somebody and then I'm no, I don't know. I don't, I don't know nothing about. I don't no, no, no. When I say dangerous, I mean it's it's a very deep thing to. It is though because. Somebody. Check this out. Check this out. All these bloggers and all that shit that's doing mad stuff. Y'all don't know that I'm walking around my city every day. Even though, like, all these bloggers and all that doing mad stuff. Stuff like what? Our fucking job? You should take notes. You should try it sometime. Probably 80% of my city probably, like, Fuck that man, bro. You good. We know you ain't the la Because if so, bitch, you would have been gone. Then exactly you got 20 the percent. End of a but then you got 20% of the motherfuckers that be like, I oh, don't know, man. That nigga probably a rat. Mm -hmm. Fuck, smoke that nigga. So what y'all trying to get me lined up? Now, what if it's false? Then you just got me lined up for what? This is our battle rap. Nothing we doing right now we're talking about is battle rap. Every so again, you're accusing people that are out in the streets, that are living, actually living this life, that have been through these type of situations a multitude of times, they all of a sudden are just going to believe anything and they're just going to line you up for nothing. So they can't get information that confirm that you actually snitch. Or they're not in a situation or they haven't been put in a situation by you that confirms to them that you are a snitch. I want to ask you this. How did you get out so quick, Audie Boom? How did you get out so quick? I want Uncle Rod to ask that question. I'm going to give time to see if Uncle Rod asked that question, and then we're going to shut it down. How did you get out so quick? I think it's street shit, real shit. Fuck street shit, real shit. You know what I'm saying? It's my life. So, you know what I'm saying? It, I just you heard him. You heard it first. Fuck street shit. This is real shit. This is my life. And in my personal opinion, that was the same thing he told the, the prosecutors and them that was putting the press on him when he reduced his sentence and he snitched on his people. I ain't going further with this, man, because he's talking in circles. I'm your boy, Double R. You've been put on trial, and now Adi Boom is officially a snitch, and everything that Big K exposed about him is actually legit. I'm your boy, Double R, and I holler.